Let's talk about using functions how to find out if an input number is a numeric palindrome or not. An example of a numeric palindrome is a number like 1 to 1. So if you read it from left to right or you reverse it, it's going to be the same. Now in order to understand the logic of this numeric palindrome, please take a look at the description of this particular video where a link to the algorithm used to develop the logic of this particular program is provided. You can click on the link, take a look at the algorithm and then come back to this particular program to get a better idea of how we are trying to find whether an input number is a numeric palindrome or not. So what I'm doing here is I have declared a number of the type integer where I'm going to ask the user to enter a number and this number I'm going to find out whether it's a numeric palindrome or not. Then I'll tell you why I'm using the variable called as result. First step, I'm asking the user enter the number whose numeric palindrome check is to be performed. So I'll say enter a number for numeric palindrome check. So this will check whether the input number is a numeric palindrome or not. So I'm going to read the number into a variable called as num. Then I'm writing a function called as numeric underscore palin where I'm passing the parameter called as number which happens to be an integer type of data. This particular fellow is going to determine whether an input number is a numeric palindrome or not. If it is a numeric palindrome, it is going to return a short type of data. That means it's going to use the return to send a data to this variable called as result. So if it returns a value one, then I can say the input number is a numeric palindrome. If it returns any other value other than one, then simply I use the else statement so to say that the number is not a numeric palindrome. So let's try to go ahead and write this function called as numeric underscore palin. So if you look at numeric underscore palin, the signature says that Sorry. If you look at it, the signature says that it ex returns a short type of data. It accepts a parameter which is of the type integer and the name of the function is numeric underscore palin. Just to refresh, this signature or prototype declaration is essential because the compiler needs to know what kind of data this numeric palindrome is accepting, what kind of data it is returning. So now you should understand why we use the header files to declare the prototypes of printf and scanf. So here I'm declaring the prototype of numeric underscore palin. Now in order to do this particular program, I'll first declare a value called as temp, which is going to copy, get the value of value into it. Next is I am going to have a variable called as reverse number with the initial value zero and a variable called as remainder to keep track of the remainder of that particular number. Then what I'm going to do here is as long as the value of temp is greater than zero, I am going to go ahead and I am going to extract the remainder of that number. So remainder is equal to temp mod 10. I'll explain this through a simple example. Then I'm going to say reverse number is equal to reverse number into sorry reverse number into 10 plus remainder. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say temp is temp divided by 10. All right. So this particular process is going to continue. All right. As long as the number temp is greater than zero. In the last step, I'm just doing one thing. If value is equal to reverse of a number, I should be using the actually equal to is reverse of a number. Then I'm saying return one all right and i don't need to use the else i can just say return zero in every other case so it's going to return zero if it's not a numeric palindrome let me try to explain how this logic works let's say the value input number here is 121 temp is 121 121 is greater than zero is true now remainder is 121 mod 10 remainder is going to be one Reverse number initially is 0. 0 into 10 is 0. So 0 plus 1 reverse number is now 1. Now I am doing integer division of temp. Temp is 121 divided by 10 is just going to be 12. 12 is still greater than 0. So 12 mod 10 
the remainder is 2. Reverse number was 1. 1 into 10 is 1. Sorry, 1 into 10 is 10. Plus the remainder happened to be 2. Now it becomes 12. Reverse number value is 12. Temp is 12 by 10. Temp is now 1. 1 is still greater than 0. I come in here. Remainder is 1 mod 10 is 1. Reverse number was 12. 12 into 10 is 120. 120 plus 1 is 121. 1 by 10 is 0. So 0 is not greater than 0. So I come out here. Value was 121. Reverse number was also 121. So I am returning 1. When I return 1 here, this fellow result is going to get the value 1. Then I will come back here. If result is equal to 1, then number is a numeric palindrome. Else, number is not a numeric palindrome. So what we shall do is, in order to see if this logic works right, we will first take this fellow to the online GDB C compiler. We will try to compile it. Once the compilation is done, we will try to execute and try to see if it works. So first let me enter a number which is not a numeric palindrome. Okay, This is an example of a number which is not a numeric palindrome. So here it clearly says number 456 is not a numeric palindrome. Now what I can do is, now I can try to enter a number which happens to be a numeric palindrome. So an example of a numeric palindrome could be a number like 323. So now if you see here, it has correctly predicted that 323 is a numeric palindrome. Just to repeat, in order to get the logic of this particular function, all right, go ahead and take a look at the description of this video. You have a link to the algorithm where this while loop concept is explained through an example in quite a number of, quite a bit of detail. So important thing to understand, it is accepting a parameter int returning a data type short, okay. The short data type is being copied into result number is being passed into numeric palin so it gets stored in a variable called as value value is copied into temp i do the logic and i compare if the original number sent is equal to reverse of the number if it is true i am returning one if it is false automatically zero is being returned and it's going to say it's not a numeric palindrome